20 champion last year in Cali. Courtney Wayman of the USA, third in their Euro, the uh, US championships in this arena some two or three months back. 15th in Budapest, the 25 year old. Has run 909, 911 her best this year. That was an extraordinary meeting in Florence back in early June. Mauro Buziani was 10th in Budapest and uh, Rimsek of Slovenia 6th. And Alice Fino of France, one of the top French athletes by performance in Budapest, finished in fifth there. Three national records last year and a couple this year from Fino. Can she hang on to the Africans here? So away they go, we'll give you those kilometre splits of course. It's always a little awkward just to get the exact lap times because they uh, have to incorporate that uh, water jump inside the uh, second bend on each lap. Apart from on this first lap of course, but they have gone off very quickly indeed, or at least it looks like Kairos Chemicha has. They were looking for 2.55 through the first kilometre. That is uh, pretty much world record tempo. It's uh, incredibly quick, of course, that would bring them home in 8.45 and the world record of Chep Coet from five years ago is 8.44. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> you ask an Olympic champion to be your pacemaker and that's what happens. She's gone off at a crazy pace. I'm uh, a bit surprised that she's, she's done this herself many times. You should know that that's a bit quick. We do have wave lights here. If you've been used to watching it, you can just about see in the glare of the sunlight on the far side there where the blue and the green wave lights are. So even the chasing group, if that's what you want to call them, are ahead of the wave light. So Chemitai not really helping matters by going out this hard. But yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to work out aren't they, what to do here, whether just to set them to stay with the lights. Because effectively that's not really helping pacemaker wise. Well, and of course, the, our director having to ignore the pacemaker Chemitai. She's 30 meters in the lead. It's extraordinary. They've only been running a lap and a half. She's negotiated that water jump okay. But I don't know if this is uh, uh, a feint for uh, actually wanting to finish the race or if she believes she's helping anybody but somebody 25 30 meters ahead of you in a distance race like this is no use whatsoever in fact her lead is growing as she comes through the line with six laps to go it's probably 30 35 meters now it's a little stutter there from her as we see the pack coming through with six laps to run and it is uh, Cheritich who leads Faith Cheritich the bronze medalist world under 20 champion last year in Cali Colombia the best of just outside nine minutes today would be a great day to join the sub nine minute club as i said there's only 10 women ever have broken the nine minute barrier and in second place at the moment is the world record holder beatrice chepko she's tall she's got a lovely relaxed stride she's one of the great races on the flat as well as over the barriers with that big ponytail and looks very comfortable indeed i think i mentioned this in uh, Zurich, Tim, you know, this was a race where at the World Champs we were thinking could the three teenagers get the three men there's a real depth of talent coming through in the steeple chase with, uh, with sorry, uh, Jacqueline Jepkoic uh, Almeyo of Ethiopia as well Faith Cheritich if you mentioned it but it's great that you know, the others have responded, Yavi and Beatrice Jepkoic it's kind of got no, 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 we're still here, you've still got to beat us what do you think? Sorry, Steve, she's being reeled in now as they go through with five laps to run. In fact, she does drop out, and that was one of the most bizarre pieces of pacemaking I've ever seen. They never got with him more than about 10 metres of her over the first uh, two and a half, two and three quarter laps. She's gone, and now the throw the first round. They go through with four laps to run. It's uh, Jacqueline Chepkoic, the Commonwealth Games champion for Birmingham last year, who leads for Kenya. And so uh, you can virtually throw a blank card over that leading four. The world record old Beatrice Chepkoic in second place with the long ponytail. And then also there is Cheritich, Faith Cheritich, the bronze medalist. And uh, Winfred Mutile Iavi just hovering around the back of that group. She has a very fast finish. Fourth in this stadium last year. She's fourth in the uh, fourth in the world championships last year and fourth in this race at the moment, but probably just biding her time. That first kilometre, by the way, well, it was 2.56.21, so the pace was close to what had been asked for uh, as uh, Perry Chemitai, the Olympic champion, as Steve pointed out, was the pacemaker, but nobody was remotely interested in that pace for the first kilometre. I wonder if uh, this will dawdle this middle kilometre, and therefore the chance of breaking nine minutes will disappear. Yeah, it was her time, wasn't it? And you can see they're, they're, they're off the pace here. There's four of them just sort of looking at each other a little bit. Back 
big golf, it's a big title to win this, and you, it's silly kind of over committing. I think the youngsters in the group here, though, are definitely up for this, and they're just trying to force it longer a bit. They're not as quick as Yavi uh, on the last lap, certainly Czech Koenig, so Beatrice Czech Koenig knows that she also is likely to get out kicked, so they won't mind forcing it on from this point, because it's gone a bit slow through 2K. Well, they're approaching two kilometres. Remember, we're looking for something around six minutes for 2K, but I think it's going to be well outside that. Now, Beatrice Cepkoic, at the age of 32, world champion back in 2019 in Doha, will have to make a long run from home if she's to shake off that finishing kick of the likes of Yavi of Bahrain. Two and a half laps to go. And the 2K points will come up, and the 2K split will come up very shortly. I think the pack probably went through in around three minutes for 1K. They were closing on Chemutai as uh, one kilometre was reached. Yeah, two kilometres, 5.59. 5.59.01. So it's gone pretty well for 2K. And still, if there's a wind-up here, a chance of a nine-minute clock or a sub-nine-minute clock in. But Yavi hits the front, ironically. Yavi with a big kick, two laps to go. Yeah, Yavi just stepped forward uh, down the back, uh, sorry, down the home straight and immediately Beatrice Chepkoic just followed in behind the two youngsters trying to keep track there and also Wanda McGain is desperately trying to hang on but every time they pick up she just drops off another five metres so pace is on now really. It's surprising to me though Tim to see Yavi take it on because she tends to be better on the last lap than any of the others. Well, a lap and a half to run, and Yavi, the world champion leading, obviously is feeling up for this. Remember that 2K time, 5.59, so they're on sub nine minute tempo, and she is stretching them out. The gap's appearing. Beatrice Chepkovic in second place will be pleased to have this uh, dragged out like this, but maybe Yavi has got something special in those legs for the final circuit as the gap grows. Back to Cheritich in third place, to Chepkovic in second place, matching Yavi's stride for stride at the moment. Can she turn the tables? from the former Kenyan, who uh, ran for Bahrain in Budapest, one lap to go. She's hanging on, mid to Chepkoic, but she knows what the script normally says here. Yavi is just quicker on the last lap. She's got the speed between the barriers. Chepkoic tends to hurdle perhaps a little bit better, but she doesn't have the flat speed. But she's doing her best to hang on here. Just 300 metres to go it's between these two. The left the two youngsters, 25 metres behind. Well, Yavi in the familiar position, leading by Marisa and a half from the world record holder, who took the silver medal behind her at the World Championship. She's taking this on, Yavi, as Steve said. It's a little bit of a shot, a little awkward there, Yavi, as Beatrice Chepkovic closes up on her there. 200 metres to run, one water jump to come, every barrier, the water jump as well, telling now, as you see Beatrice Chepkovic there, acceleration into the water jump there, as she tries to lean in on Yavi, who holds that inside line, fights her aside, into the straights of the lead, but Beatrice Ketkovic produced her race car then and didn't work and has she got the legs to get ahead of Yavi here. Yavi grimaces, Beatrice Ketkovic glances over her shoulder, settles for a second and Yavi rushing towards the line. I mean, look at the clock, it is super fast, it's a meeting record, 8.50.67, it's the second quickest time in history and Yavi responsible for that, the world champion becomes Diamond League champion and all credit to her for taking the bull by the horns with three laps to go, pouring on the pace through the final kilometre and racing to that super quick tie. Winfred Mutila Yavi runs a personal best there by some almost four seconds. 8.50.66. As things stand, still Beatrice Chepkovic, the only athlete in history under 8.50. But that clocking of 8.50.66, of course, an area record and a new personal best for Yavi. Brilliant, brilliant running thing. It had it all. She had to kick down the home straight there, having led through those last three laps. She had enough. Yep, she's certainly been rewarded with having a goal from the last thousand. And what a last thousand means it was. Around about 2.50, Tim. I'll get it exactly, but maybe 2.51 there, thereabouts. And all of that really was because she decided to go for it earlier than we might have expected. And then Chepkoic trying to challenge and just managing. Yavi's always got the flat speed, as we mentioned. She's just a little bit pacier between the barriers. Chepkoic tends to take them better, even off this last one here. You think, has she still got a chance? Because she just closes another meter. But 
Yavi always has that ability to find that little bit extra and that's a big big performance 8.50 it's an area record for her because uh, she doesn't represent Kenya of course so 